Is Mike Norvell the guy to turn it around? He came in. He went. He came into a horrific situation too when he first arrived, and we know what he was able to do and and turn things around. And took a couple of years, but that was the expectation, and everybody understood that. But now you fall off down a cliff. You've officially fallen off the climb. The climb is there's no more climbing. You're you're just trying to stay afloat at this moment. But can his message still relay to? recruits and and what you're trying to do transfer portal seems like it's working for atkins offensive line but overall not even just on the recruiting and transfer portal can it happen within can it happen in your locker room after what we thought was some really interesting decision making from him on on lineups and starters and the whole dj situation there i think he was certainly going to wait and wait until dj got to play clemson but you put yourself into a situation where you're going to you, you you weren't you were just relying on an uh, on an agreement that you had with DJ to put him out against his former team. Uh, a lot of these decisions made this year make me question what the future holds for Mike Norvell and this program at Florida State. I was letting BZ go. Um, he pulled you up first. Don't point this on me. I don't. I don't know. It's it's a question that I think we have to ask. You know, considering that everything uh, we've seen the past six games, and like we were just talking about a couple of minutes ago, it's all going to kind of depend on this upcoming off season. You know, is Norvell going to find that willingness to make those staff changes? Um, is FSU going to be able to get better when it comes to recruiting high school? And you know, obviously the the way that they distribute um, these NIL deals, the way they evaluate and attack the transfer portal. It's not just Mike Norvell. I feel like the whole program's kind of ha- got to have a little bit of a makeover from top to bottom and the way they evaluate things on the field, off the field, um, in the locker room. There's got to be a lot of a, sh- uh, a lot of shifts. And, you know, we'll see if Florida State and Mike Norvell are able to do that. You know, but you look at what Mike Norvell's done previously. You know, he brought this program back before two straight double digit uh, winning seasons, obviously getting to the ACC championship. Um, the playoff snub still going to be a black mark on this program forever, but you can't discredit what he's done in the past. I know this year has been extremely frustrating and, you know, it makes you question everything um, that you've seen before. But right now I'm just hoping, you know, this is a, a little bit of a wash, a little bit of a fluke and for say they're going to make these changes to get back on track. And, you know, if not, I think we all know what will happen. Yeah, for I mean, for a lot of the reasons we've already mentioned, there's a lot of reason to doubt it because you can very easily say Norvell, the Norvell we've seen this year isn't the Norvell we saw the first four years in Tallahassee. That same fire is not there, that same passion, at least on the sidelines. I don't know how it's been in practice or behind the scenes in media rooms and in his offices and whatever. We, we don't get to see all of that stuff. But what we're seeing on Saturdays and sometimes Fridays just hasn't been the same that it's been in years past. He's really got to just, he's got to do what Notre Dame did a few years ago. And I know a lot of people have brought up this example, but in 2016, Notre Dame went four and eight after going 10 and three. And they were in the national championship a couple years before that. Then they go four and eight. Brian Kelly goes scorched earth like he's been known to do. Let's be fair. He's a, he's a much different kind of psychopath than most coaches. They cleared out the entire staff the next year. They were in 10 and three. The year after that, they're in the college football playoff. It's really the only way this happens. And I think, Norvell is too nice of a guy to go scorched earth like Brian Kelly did. So I don't know. You would like to think he could because he knows what got him into this hole. But I don't know. I really don't. I think it's if he realizes some things that he did, and that's what he's going to have to do. If he can realize, yeah, this message isn't really working anymore. It worked at the beginning, got us to here, but if I'm going to be in, you know, the college football playoff snub, I, I, that whole kind of thing internally don't know how that affects them fully. You know, for us, we're just here to cover it. Uh, went to the school and everything, obviously have fandom there, but for a team playing, you're practicing, you go through a whole off season, you're training workouts, all that kind of stuff. I, it hits a lot harder than what we can possibly think of, but you know, you're, you're on to a next season and this is a Florida state football program. And this isn't any other school. Um, you know, there's a lot of expectations that are to be had. And if he can realize and go off a checklist of what he, you know, 
did that wasn't right. And if he could go back and, you know, look at this list and try to clock some things out, then I think there's a, a potential where Mike Norvell can swing this back around and we can see, see some progress and hope in this 2025 season. But it's all going to come into when we get into after that UF game. I, I think this is going to be a while. We, we, we've had a couple of wild off seasons. This one has a chance to be an absolute hell run, I, I think. I, I don't know Needs what to, to expect. I, re- I really don't know what to expect, gentlemen. We had a crazy one after Florida State had an undefeated regular season. And right off the bat, a couple weeks later, you've got some of your best stars going into the next season testing out the waters and talking with other schools. And you lost a really talented running back. You had three or four star defensive players toying around, wanting more NIL. Like a lot of things, I think a lot of direction was headed in the NIL. They've got to get that managed there uh, a little bit better potentially. And I think we're in for a wild wild December for Florida State in this offseason. And I think that's going to be the true teller of what 2025 is going to give us. But you got to kind of mix that in with staff changes and well, how are you going to redo your transfer portal and, and projections there on some players you're going to bring in. And it's going to be a fun December, D. Lou and VZ on this show. We're going to be busy. <laughs>